Thank you all for attending our Ortelius Microservice Visionaries 2021, the December 8th version. We thank you so much for your support and for attending our crazy little conference that we do every six months. I am Tracy Reagan. I am the community organizer. Uh, some of you may have heard of me before. I'm a bit of a microservice evangelist. I um, am the, the CEO and co-founder of Deploy Hub. I'm the community director for or the Ortelius Open Source Project. Um, and I have some other notable facts, including I'm a part of the um, Continuous Delivery Foundation. I served on their board for three years, and I also helped start the Eclipse Foundation. So I'm not new to open source. Uh, if you ever like to chat, you can find me at Tracy-Reagan-OMS on LinkedIn. I'm happy to chat at any time. Just shoot me a, um, uh, an invite and I'll push over my calendar. So first I wanna thank uh, all of our presenters. Uh, you all did such a great job um, from Ankar to Isha and Ujwal and Utkarsh and Arvind. Thank you for bringing your, uh, your thoughts uh, to the, the conference. Um, in particular, Ankar, who gave us a good understanding of the challenges that end users find. And I think that we will all take that to heart and look to see how we can help solve that with the Ortelius catalog. And also the back end people, the people who do a lot of work um, to produce this and get this pulled together. Sergio Canales, who has been our brave Twitch uh, jockey. Uh, Saim, who has helped pull this together, as well as Sasha and Karam. We thank you all. And we couldn't do this without the CD Foundation. So thank you so much to the CD Foundation for your, your leadership and your support uh, and everything that you do behind, our, behind the scenes. So what we've accomplished, we have been a busy little open source community. Um, we have uh, now about 194 Google group members, people who are watching the uh, project. Many of those uh, are the contributors. We have 292 LinkedIn followers. We started from zero this year. Um, we have 50 committers, people who are really working on the project, um, updating uh, the code base, helping with the, the website and, uh, and many other tasks that are required. And on average, we're doing about uh, 14 um, merge pull requests. Uh, we finished our service catalog. Uh, this was a big deal for us to pull all of this information. Um, we've added uh, additional uh, service data to the Ortelius catalog, including license consumptions, the license and readme file, the CVEs, swagger information, integration to uh, PagerDuty and Slack because ownership is just as important as anything else. Imagine being a support person and you get a call on a microservice you know nothing about. The service catalog data um, helps them know who to call when a microservice uh, ha has a problem. We started our live streaming office hours. Um, you can find this on Twitch TV. We started our Twitch TV channel, which we're uh, displaying or running this, this show on. Um, and we have a, a live office hours. So watch for our Twitch TV live office hours uh, so that you can learn more about Artilius. We really did a great job on the conference scene. Um, we had uh, co co contributors like Aditi uh, Arjwal, uh, contribute and do a presentation on our domain-driven design. I presented at DevOps World. We had presentations at uh, GitOps Summit and at, of course, at CDCon. We actually started a recognition program and we've got some uh, badges out there. Um, there were three levels of, of, of recognition for champions, ambassadors, and legends. Some of you got those badges today and congratulations. We created our first governing board um, with bylaws. Uh, and I have to uh, shout out to Garima Bajpai for helping with that. She really drove uh, the direction on that. Uh, so our new, new board, congratulations. We look forward to working with you next year. So what's in store for 2022? We're looking at things like GitOps, transitive uh, microservices, and work and supply chain. So if we think about what that roadmap is going to look like, um, 
the transitive um, microservices, really what we're talking about is service, to, service dependency maps, really expands the maps that we have. Right now we can show application to service dependencies, but now we'll be able to show service to service dependencies. Uh, so we're going to use um, this, our data to map these dependency relationships so you can understand what the transit of microservices are. So for example, Ortelius will use the relationship data to follow the transaction path. A depends on B, B depends on C. This will show the application version and all its transit of microservices, giving us a much broader picture of the application's SBOM and ex exposing who's using something that may have a security vulnerability across multiple, multiple applications. Um, we're going to be doing some work on uh, GitOps. The team has already done quite a bit of work on this. Uh, Sasha Wharton, thank you for uh, building uh, this diagram. Uh, and the idea is to start using Ortelius's data to generate the deployment YAML files and push those back into um, Git in order to automate what we normally would do manually in a GitOps implementation. We have the data, we can generate a YAML file, which means that a lot of the work that normally would have to be done manually can be automated uh, based on the data stored in the Ortelius catalog. We're working on integrations to Kepton, their event-driven um, CD pipeline. We love events. Um, we are going to be uh, incorporating in our first POC, we're going to be incorporating Argo CD, the use of GitHub, and Quay. Now, how that looks, I'm hoping that uh, Sasha Wharton, who worked on this, will be doing a webinar for us very soon in the new year to really talk about how we can incorporate these tools and provide a POC that shows really a new kind of DevOps pipeline, one that is cloud native, supports an event-driven um, CD pipeline, supports uh, GitOps using uh, Argo CD, uh, and includes Ortelius to generate that core information. Um, I think it'll be a very interesting um, proof of concept using these very popular tools that support a truly cloud native environment. And then data science. Um, data science, uh, you know, this is something I've spoken about um, over the course of the year. We, we are data hoarders. We need to tar start really acting on that data that we have. Currently, we have re reports like our bill of material report, our blast radius report, and our diff difference report. But there are many more things that we can start uh, reporting on, and we can start doing some uh, real ML if we start thinking about how to apply that data. I'm thinking about things like risk values of a microservice and, and how we can determine a risk value and pass that information off to the, uh, the, the CD pipeline. So thank you, thank thank you all. Um, I if we were in a you know hopefully someday we can do this live. Um, I'd love to meet all of you. It's been a year of working with you, and I haven't met any of you in person, obviously. Um, but someday maybe that can happen. And if you're new to Ortelius, um, you can go to the Ortelius. Uh, .io and it'll take you to the, our GitHub repositories. You can follow us on LinkedIn or on Twitter, and you can follow me at Tracy Reagan on Twitter or find me at Tracy-Reagan-OMS. And let's talk and get you involved in the Ortelius project. Thank you so much, and I hope everybody enjoyed our Ortelius Visionary Summit for 2021, our final one for the year. The next one we will do in May. Thank you all.